Hey, we Nintendo fans, we're spoiled nowadays. You heard me right. We spoiled like a carton of milk that's been out in the sun too, sun, sun too long. We spoiled. Nowadays, we have a handheld console like the Nintendo Switch where we can play next-gen beautiful games either at our home on a TV screen or we can play on the go. Truly a great system. A great handheld console. But god damn it, I miss this. The Game Boy Advance recently turned 20 years old, and that makes me feel one step closer to the grave. But I have a lot of fond memories with the Game Boy Advance, so I thought to pay a tribute, I would tell you guys the games I played on the system and what the Game Boy Advance means to me. Alright, so let's get the big boy out of the way first, Pokemon. We had six mainline games, not even counting spin-offs. Well, besides one I'm, besides one spin-off I'm counting here. We had a lot of Pokemon games. Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, which started my whole Pokemon gaming experience. Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Emerald being my favorite Pokemon game of all time, which I've said way too many times on the channel, so this is the last time I'm gonna say it. Blah, 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 blah. Pokemon Emerald is my favorite Pokemon game of all time. We also had the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. It was an RPG, but it kind of reinvented Pokemon with a more fleshed out story. Now, Pokemon wasn't shy of spin-offs to this at this point. We had Pokemon Snap, a couple others, but when it comes to Pokemon spin-offs, Snap and Mystery Dungeon, they're the ones that are remembered the most. And I mean, you can't forget Pokemon Stadium, but you know what I mean. Pokemon Snap and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I feel like they are definitely the most popular Pokemon spin-offs. But with Pokemon Legends Arceus coming, who knows, maybe we'll have a more, another, m m m m m m maybe this will be really good and people will remember it for years on. Or maybe you guys like the spin-off for the Nintendo 64 where you talk to Pikachu. That's your cup of tea, I ain't gonna judge. Moving on from Pokemon, Zelda. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap, Link had a talking bird hat, are you fucking kidding me, dude? And because of the Game Boy Advance, I got to play the original Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario World for the very first time in my life. And while to me the original Super Mario Bros. was a game I beat once and never went back to, I still find myself going back to Super Mario World a lot. Grand Theft Auto was on the Game Boy Advance. Moving on. I was also introduced to our boy Kirby because of the Game Boy Advance, for, because of Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, and I love that game. It still has one of my favorite soundtracks of any video game ever. Mario Kart. Mario Kart Super Circuit. I hated it <laughs> as a kid. I don't know why. I just was never a big fan of Super Circuit, but I haven't played it in years, so maybe if I replay it, my opinions on that will change. But. Yeah, I was not a big fan of the Mario Kart we got on the Game Boy Advance. Is this dude trying to fight me? Fire Emblem. Moving on. Harvest Moon kicked the doors down and they were like, Pfft, Animal Crossing? Get, get out of here, we run shit now. I've never played a Harvest Moon game in my life. I just thought that was a funny bit, so I included it. Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon had a crossover on the Game Boy Advance. Was not good. I don't want to talk about it. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Mario and Luigi, the series, is just my favorite Mario RPG series of all time. I put it over Paper Mario. Just take that with take that with what you want. Does that make sense? But I haven't played Super Mario RPG, but the Mario and Luigi series is my favorite RPG series for Mario. I'm right. You're wrong.
And yeah, out of the top of my head, that's pretty much all the games I played for the Game Boy Advance. And I created a lot of memories through all these games I listed. And it was all because of this little handheld console that I could put in my fucking pocket, dude. And yeah, okay, so we got the DS after the Game Boy Advance. And I kind of made more memories of the DS. But hey, the Game Boy Advance was the starting grounds of the memories I made through Nintendo. Cause, oh, cause I got my Game Boy Advance before my GameCube, so. Does that make sense? But I will always be grateful for the Game Boy Advance. It started my love for Pokemon games. I've, and because of that, I kept going on to play Pokemon games. I met some of my best friends that I still know today through Pokemon. I got, I got to play Super Mario World, that's pretty fucking cool. I got Sonic Advance, baby? Just, I'll always be grateful for the Game Boy Advance. And that's pretty much the message of this video. I could have just said that right from the beginning, but I didn't. Game Boy Advance. I love you. Should, should I talk about the DS next time? I don't know. It, 